Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to my shop. Get, uh, we're going to talk about the 49 Chevrolet uh, 3100 pickup here a little bit. I got a uh, I got a request from one of my viewers that uh, wanted to see the operation of these two uh, vents, the cow vent and the side driver side vent. And uh, apparently his don't work, and he's wanting to see how they how they function. So this little video is going to put together is just to kind of show the operation of. Uh, of the two vents. So stay tuned and let's get busy. Right, I'm kind of lucky in that uh, when I pulled this out of the barn, although it was in very bad shape, it had all of its parts and it was still in original type condition. So uh, although it was a working farm truck, they only replaced parts on it that broke. They didn't, uh, they didn't modify it or do it. The only modification they did to it actually was to put a heater in. But, the, but what it allows me to do, since it's in original condition, is it shows some of the operating features of it. This is the driver's side side vent. And right now, as you can tell, it's closed. We'll open him up. And there you go. And that actually lets some air in, you know, Good amount of side vent air coming through on a cool day when you open that up it's akin to having air conditioning on so uh yeah, generally the air pressure when you're going down the road will help keep it open but it's got springs and i'll show you the inner workings of it here in a minute one thing to keep in mind is when you close it listen to it uh, snap shut you hear that it's locked shut and uh, it's locked good enough to where I don't have any problem with any cold air leakage around there. All right, so I'll show you the, uh, the workings of it. All right, if you look here, you can see the screw here and screw here. I believe that ho that holds the entire assembly to the uh, cab. Now there's either a, a spot welded tab that, that screws to, or it's actually uh, a formed in part of the uh, cab sheet metal. Of that I'm not sure, I've never had to take it apart. I put some more light on in there. And you can see it just goes right into the void there of the, between the outer cab skin and the inner cab, cab skin. If you look, you can kind of see the vents, the grates there that uh, allow the air to pass through and go into the uh, cab. Now, a spring here and a spring here, it's underneath. Might make it up down there. All right, now that is what keeps it, uh, helps keep it open and also snaps and keeps it closed. So anyway, uh, there may be, it feels like a gasket should go here but it's long gone, and uh, I'll look in my catalog, and I'll post a part number if it does, in fact, get a gasket. But there's never been a gasket in it since I've owned it. So anyway, I'll show you the inside operation. All right, I'm working around the headlight, the, headlight, the steering wheel. So here's the lever right here. Now, it's in the open position, foot pushed all the way forward. Now, when I pull it back, you'll hear it snap in the closed position. You hear that? See, it goes up. And uh, I guess it's just the tension of the metal arm here that brings it up. So in order to, to open it, you got to push down and then forward, and it's open. Here's the slot, here's the slot, and here's the slot. That's where the air actually will come into the, uh, into the cab. 
And like I say, you definitely feel that air coming in once you're moving down the road. Of course, you're not going to feel anything. There's no fan or nothing forcing air, so you have to be moving to feel air to come through it. All right. Now I'll show you the cow vent. All right, you can see it's in the wide open position. It actually has two positions, wide open, well, three. Wide open, partially open, and fully closed. All right? And uh, as you can see, there's like a screen to kind of keep big stuff from coming in. Now, this orange material here, that is some very dried up RTV of some type. Because when I first got this uh, truck, now there is a gasket that is supposed to go in here to help seal it. See, I'm just tearing that out there. But uh, to help seal it, but uh, that gasket's long gone. So I guess Glee or one of his sons may have squirted some of this in here to try to seal it up more. I actually have no problem. I drive this truck in the winter. And when this is latched in the down position, the heater puts out so much heat that if there is any cool air leaking past it, it's getting heated up by the heater air, <laughs> so I don't even I don't even feel it. So anyway, I'll show you the uh, the lever what operates. All right, now we're underneath. Uh, we're in the cab and underneath the dash here, and this is a lever that actuates the uh, cow vent. All right, right now it's fully forward, so the cow uh, vent is wide open. All right, we'll bring it back one click. All right, now the cowl is only half, partially open, halfway open. Then you bring it back, and that locks it in place, all right? So you, to open it, of course, here's your ignition key, and then there's your, dry, your uh, speedometer. So that's where you know pretty much where it's at. So you push down. That's the mid position. And then all the way forward, it's wide open. All right, I'll show you operation from the outside. All right, if you can look past some of my uh, radio wiring here, you can see there is the vent from underneath the dash looking up to the dashboard, okay? And here's the uh, actuating arm right here. And you can see there's a, it's quite an assembly, and it is bolted in up there, and you can purchase this whole assembly. I have seen them for sale. I have no idea how much they get, and uh, but if, if it's like anything else, they're going to be pretty proud of it. But it is available, and uh, it, you know you have several bolt-up places to bolt it up there. You've got a hinge here. It's hinged right here, okay? And, uh, and this brace right here from the steering column over is what secures it really good in there. I believe all of that comes in that kit. So anyway, I'll attempt to uh, open and close it. All right. Let's see. There you go. See how the light went away from up there? Now we open it. And there you go. Now it's fully open. All right. Again, all my radio wiring, you probably can't see really good. But that's... Uh, that's him in his entirety, pretty much, right there. There's partial open. There's full open. I'm sorry, there's your partial. There's lockdown. All right. It's summertime, so I'm going to keep it in the up position. You can tell in the wide open position, you can look right down and you can see my wiring there to the radio, and that's wide open. Now, I'm going to show you something. There's a tray right there at the bottom of the screen. And it actually is to collect rainwater. All right, now I'm going to show you where it's supposed to route that rainwater. Okay, see this hose right here? Normally it's just a short hose to here, and it comes straight down, and it basically 
hangs over top the back of their valve cover. That is the drain for the rain trough that's built into the uh, cow vent. All right. What I did is I just got a hose extension and I'm just extending it way down there past the starter. So, uh, so I take rain and I just route it totally down to the uh, ground. But in the stock position, that would end here, hang straight down and really just dump rain on the valve cover in the normal OEM position. But I thought that was pretty neat. And also, if you're going down the road with that vent open in the rain, you are going to get wet feet. The rain will definitely come through there. That, that trough is basically to route the rainwater, either if it's really light or if you got it closed and it gets past the seal and it hits that trough and it'll come down. So anyway, thought I'd show you that too. All right, I hope that brief description kind of helps you out. This, like I say, these vents, when you open them up, you will get some cool air going through. Now on a 90 degree day, that's going to be almost like heated air, but at least it's going to be air that's moving along with these side windows down. And it'll, uh, it'll make it at least tolerable in there. But, uh, yeah, I definitely recommend if, you, uh, if you're going to drive one of these in the summertime and you don't have air conditioning, get these vents working. Anyway, hope everything's going good with you and yours. Everything is going good here. Can't complain. All right. All right. Hope everything's going good with you and yours. Everything is going good here. Can't complain. Won't do me no good to complain anyway. Just carry on. Take care of the business. So have a good one, and I hope to see you around on the next one.